Hello from Dresden, Germany at the 2015 International Radar Symposium. Hello, I had an opportunity this year to go to the uh, 2015 International Radar Symposium in Dresden, Germany. It was a great experience. Uh, I got to uh, see a lot of information and presentations and uh, uh, papers put out there by folks from all over the world. Uh, some of those things were uh, topics such as passive radar. I uh, looked at some things like waveform design, uh, other things that were out there, uh, bi-static radar, uh, looking at antennas near field, far field range testing, uh, some uh, concepts having to do with uh, terahertz radar, uh, utilizing some of the uh, more new and novel techniques when it comes to, uh, well, if you can uh, do some of the things that we can do now when it comes to solid state transmitters, um, uh, using ultra wideband radar techniques, what are people doing with them, not just the uh, ultra bleeding edge ideas, but although those were out there having to do with the purely simulation side of things, but also what are people practically doing now that some people have fielded some of these ideas and they've had them out there for a few years, practically how are things working, how are people looking to advance their work, how are uh, scientists and engineers and organizations, uh, some of them such as Excellus and Airbus, uh, putting out new techniques and new ideas, new concepts, and how is that leading us forward in the, the world of not just uh, uh, military radar and airborne, but also maritime, automotive, uh, those practical day-to-day -day uses of radar. All these things come and get married together at the International Radar Symposium. Now, if you're not familiar with the International Radar Symposium, it's primarily held in Germany and Poland. Uh, it has been held in Lithuania before, was planned to be in Ukraine uh, last year, but was not due to the uh, political situation. Uh, I've been following it for the past few years, and I've been interested in going. I had some trepidation about uh, what the format would be like, what the, uh, the travel would be like, uh, not being a, a speaker of uh, the language. Uh, in, in Germany, but all the sessions are in English. Uh, travel is very easy in and out of Germany. And if you have any thoughts, inclinations uh, about attending this conference and you have the ability, please check it out, take a look at it. It's very well organized. There's great information there. There's a lot of opportunity for meeting other engineers and researchers, meeting uh, a lot of the folks that are actually applying some of these techniques and concepts, and as well as uh, getting the uh, networking opportunities, whether it be in the, the, the breaks from the sessions, which are oftentimes more profitable than the actual sessions themselves, getting some one-on-one -on -one time with these people. Um, these are great opportunities, and if you can, uh, check them out. Uh, and they're uh, the German uh, um, institute that puts this on. We'll put the link here in the notes. And if you have an opportunity, visit us online at duotechservices.com or visit us on Twitter.